Here we go. Here we go, plays and grades. Once again, brought to you by Terry for Carter's Productions. We're back at you. We're about uh, three weeks away from our car show, but getting tuned up, we decided to come out here to the NFL. Kick off of Monday Night Football with 101, baby. Take a look around. It's going down. We got Greg Townsend out here. We got Longo Toyota. We got the Raiders Enterprise Enterprise. We talked to uh, Coca-Cola earlier today. We'll be getting with them to do something with our new product. They'll be coming out. Look for the off the porch uh, trading card with the low rider on the front. That plays in Gray's symbol always. You cannot play without the Grays, baby. Get it right. There will be no NFL, no NBA, no Major League Baseball without the Grays. And we're gone. Play is your question, Justin. I got it. From Sherman Oaks, yeah. right? Right. To uh, Notre Dame, uh, actually Michigan, right? Or, or Notre Dame, Notre Dame to Michigan, to, to uh, SC, to right? To uh, to the LA Raiders. Oakland Raiders. Okay. <laughs> Which That's what, the LA Raiders. I feel you on that, right? Let me ask you something. How do I feel? Man? Just right. going through those uh, different uh, scenarios and situations. Well, it, it feels good, you know. Uh, playing in the NFL was always my goal, always my dream. Um, you know, it, it took a process to get there, but uh, you know, the journey, the journey is what is what makes it. So, That's right. That's you know, uh, going to Michigan, having that experience there, great school, great tradition. Um, unfortunately, getting hurt, which kind of changed my experience there, but also set up an opportunity for me to come back home to USC and uh, do everything I could to attain my goals. Let me let me ask you work this. Out, definitely let me ask you this. I, I do case management, student athletes, from uh, Pop Warner to high school, all the way to college, and even uh, you know, in some instances, connecting them with various agents. What would be three areas of importance that you would feel would be important for these young men that's coming up to kind of get a grasp of, uh, let's say, at a junior high at the high school level as they continue to uh, try to reach the league? Right. Uh, definitely, one, you have to have a goal. You have, to, you have to know what you want to do in order to do it. Um, you have to come up with a plan, you know, the steps. You know, you have your big goal, but you also have to have your steps along the way to get there. And uh, you just have to be persevering, you know, and, um, and really just dedicated to achieving it. And, and whatever distractions come along your way, whatever setbacks or obstacles come, you have to keep your eye on that goal and uh, concentrate on those steps along the way to get there. Got it, man, got it. It's ironic that we're here today. Uh, it's ironic that Pete's here, that you're here. My son went to Michigan, had a setback such as yourself, had to transfer to, uh, to Stony Brook University, which uh, is not a, a program such as Michigan. But uh, he had, was fortunate enough, like you're saying, to persevere and uh, have an opportunity to get picked up by Seattle. He's uh, in camp right now, actually. He goes back in a couple weeks. Um, what would kind of advice would you uh, have for uh, rookies going in, and, 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 and particularly my son? Really just uh, learn as much as you can. Learn from the veterans, uh, respect the game and, and the culture you know, around the team um, that the veterans set for you. And uh, soak it up and, just, and, uh, and enjoy your experience because you know, we're lucky and blessed to do it. Let me ask you, man, are you in LA area often? Would you mind coming out and speaking to our young men at the Boys and Girls Club and other events that we have going on at some time? If time permits, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd appreciate like it, man. I'm going to give you my car, brother, and hopefully, you know, accommodate you that time. Right on, brother. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, Parkinson. Thank Oh, okay, for sure. I got three questions, Steve. And it's really, it's like a, uh, Now, I got three questions, all right? Hold on, let me show you. call whatever comes to mind. Okay, okay. Whatever comes to mind. Pop Warner football. Northridge Knights. Northridge Knights, okay. <laughs> Expound on that a little bit for me. Northridge Knights, that was the team I played for, Pop Warner team, my first, you know, real time when I got on the field and got banged, you know, scored touchdowns, so that's when I really started loving football. San Fernando Valley. Heat. Hot. I love it. Last question, last Cap last. High School. T La House, baby. T House. <laughs> T House. What, what does that T House mean to you? Oh man, just so much, too much. Um, greatness, you know, opportunity. When I had my first opportunity, you know, be the playmaker I am today. Gave me a lot of confidence, so 
and I got my, you know, graduated from high school, the first in my family to do that, so, right, you know what I mean? One of the things, man, I really remember about you, your brothers, um, and even your pops, man, very humble. And I just want to say, man, I appreciate you. Man, keep repping. Hold on, I got two questions. Keep repping. Right, I know your father very good. He always wanted you to go to Florida. What was up with that, man? He wanted me to go to Florida. Right. Name, <laughs> yeah. Washington. I'm glad I didn't listen to any of his yeah, choices. That's right. That's One right. more. Being a clutch receiver, man. Man, you just make them catches, man. It. How you focus it. on that all the time? And take the hit too. I more than the guy next to me. That's what it is. That's why you get paid the big dollars, dog. <laughs> one more, one more. See if we're gonna let you we, go, man. We, we shared the. Hey, come on back. Come on back. We shared the field together. I coached this young man this senior season. We went, came up here to the Coliseum. We lost a good one to Dorothy that year on a bad decision, but uh, we lived through that. We moved on. And there he is, right there. Keeping it the one hundred. Thanks for giving it back, man. Hey, let me. Hold that on. That you can really, really, I mean, I know you, you, have, you, you are always asked questions, man, and you got to give certain responses. If there's one thing you can tell young cats from the neighborhood what they need to do in order to be successful on and off the field. Um, you know, just if you have a goal, whatever your dream is, whatever your goal is, sports, being a doctor, teacher, whatever, just stick to it, you know what I mean? Put the, put the work in when, when nobody else is putting the work in. That's what I used to always do. And uh, I always think, I know when I'm sitting right here, he's over there working, so I got to do extra. I got to get, get mine and just stay out of trouble, please. Just stay out of trouble. There you go. You ever go back to Tap High School? Oh, yeah, I was out there today. Working Good. On All right, Steve, thank you. I want to first thank uh, Coca-Cola for having us and participating in this uh, wonderful, wonderful NFL 101. Uh, Plays and grades definitely will take their game to the next level with uh, Coca-Cola in mind. And uh, again, again, NFL 101 was a great event. 2010, and we look forward to doing much more, bigger, and better things in 2011 to come to see. Plays and grades. There's no other way to do it. Grades, baby. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> <laughs>